everyone it's me Chanel here and today I have three thrift store finds that I am going to make over and show you how I style them and place them in areas of my home and I hope you enjoy the video now on this first look I was looking for a pair of very small lamps uh, I guess you can call them boudoir lamps but they are normally very short in stature and I wanted them pink so I went on the hunt at my local thrift stores and these were a pair that I had found at Home Goods, and the price was $39 as you will see. Didn't want to pay that price? I figured I can dupe these. I can find these at my local thrift somewhere and if not, I'd have to paint them. Luckily for me, two were sitting there. I found them, placed them in the room, cleaned them right up and found two shades very small rectangular in shape which fit perfectly inside the cabinetry in my reading room so here i'll show you just how i styled them up and total cost for these pair of lamps with the shade no painting involved 25 dollars total I was looking for something very ornate in its shape and design. I wanted it to have handles and I knew more than likely I was going to have to paint the vase. When I found it, it was in this seafoam green color and it was very striking to me. It had the curves that I wanted along with the Victorian romantic feel that I desired and it was just delicate enough to house the arrangement with the tulips that I was going to place in here. So here it is, how I painted it and styled it and placed it in the room. And of course, if you know me already, being Chanel, I don't like to cut all of my stems because of course, eventually, I will reuse them in another arrangement. So that is why the stems are bent and just placed inside of the vase. And here I want you to remember, with all three of these makeovers that came from the thrift store, you can achieve a certain look that you desire in your home, in your spaces, for pennies on the dollar and it can still be classic, elegant and have a very refined look, even coming from a thrift store, maybe a yard sale or consignment store. So in other words, don't sleep on the thrift. Now last but not least, here I have this towel rack. Some people use them for plate racks and I am just going to repaint it and place it in the bathroom because the towel rack that I had in there, I didn't want one on the wall. That's just me and how I like it. So I figured I would place one on the door as you will see here. And this was the perfect choice to use 
for holding towels for guests who may be coming over and using this bath because it is a full bathroom. So I just rolled up the towels and after I painted them and placed them along the towel rack now in the room, perfect, made sense, and I enjoy the look and the definite usefulness of this item. So thank you for joining me. This has been Chanel. Don't forget to like, comment, definitely share the video and hit that subscribe button. You can also join me over on Instagram as well. And uh, yeah, I'll see you in the next one. Have a great day.